first, grab your roller skates and picnic blankets. In the words of the great Stevie Wonder, it's hotter than the 4th of July. Here's Katie Keller. The sweet sounds of summer stage return to Central Park. Have you seen the a full Aussie BBQ with performances by Baker Boy, Electric Fields, and many more artists, all in association with Sounds Australia. I love that there's so many Australian bands and artists here today, and it's a really um, collective group of people who just want to have a good time. After a two-year hiatus due to the pandemic, the free shows are back at community parks across the five boroughs, celebrating New York's revival. I just love that everyone can come and listen to music now. Like, it's been so long, obviously, since the pandemic. No one's been able to come to a festival with most other people that want to do the same thing. And just listen to have a good boogie. Also in Central Park this summer... <laughs> Disco Oasis, now officially open. The iconic woman rink transformed into a funky roller skating paradise. It's officially summer here at Woman Rig. Between Disco Oasis downstairs and Melba's upstairs, we are prepared to give New Yorkers what they deserve this summer. You can check it out for yourself Wednesday through Sunday until October. And in the Bronx this summer... Close. You can see how it's flowering. We have two stalks. This is the flower up on top, and as it's pollinated, it turns into the fruit. If you're hungry for knowledge, a new exhibition at the New York Botanical Garden certainly has a lot on its plate. It spotlights the cultural history and science of food through hundreds of edible plants and art displays. This is an opportunity to understand what the plant is, where it comes from, what environmental conditions it takes as it grows, and then also how we harvest it, what part of the plant we're harvesting, and then there's many opportunities to learn about how to use it. Around the table, stories of the foods we love, on display through mid-September. That's Katie Keller reporting for us on this Sunday.